What's up guys, and in this video we're taking a look at another really cool way to deploy your front-end apps, and that's using Netlify. Now this is also free, or at least has a free tier to deploy your you know, portfolio um, websites or any kind of front-end apps that you want to showcase. Now let's go in and look at a React app. I already have one set up, and I'm going to make a small change. That deploying, let's just write, we are deploying this to Netlify. Oh, okay, there we go. Just gonna make this commit. Change, um, change on main page. And we, I have a Git repository or GitHub repository made for this one called React Netlify. And I've just pushed the changes for that one. Now let's jump back to Netlify and you could uh, log in, you know, if it's the first time, just sign up using uh, GitHub. And this is the main dashboard that you will see. And here you could see that there's the sites and we're going to import uh, from Git. And you could pick, you know, pick the provider that you're using. We're using GitHub. Yeah, this will just load in that's authorized. And then we can see all our um, apps or repos that we have in GitHub. And now we're going to pick this one because this is the one we want to deploy. Um, it will automatically yeah, detect the main branch. So the basic build settings, these are all by default. Uh, it detects that it's a React app and it's going to use all these default um, build commands for the React app and also the build directory. We could take a look at advanced, but uh, actually we don't need it. So we'll just deploy the site. And then it'll show that the site deployment is in progress. Probably take a few seconds or maybe like a half a minute to deploy. Um, oh yeah, you could take a look at, so if you see this, this is going to be the name of the website. Now it's a really random you know, name that uh, Netlify will give you. And we could change the settings of that one. Maybe it's go, go back and yeah, it's the domain settings. If we take a look at custom domains, um, we could take, yeah, look at options and edit the site name. So instead of this uh, Jade Crumble random name they give us, we could just say, we call it React um, Deployment. And I'm going to put Kevin Tech at the end because it's going to have to be something that's unique across all Netlify apps. So we'll save that. So that's saved, we could take a look at how the deployment is going. Site overview. Uh, it says your site is deployed. So we could take a look at, I believe, yeah, if you click on this um, link, it will take you to the app. So this is the deployed app that we created. You can see this is the change that we made, and this is the URL. Now you can set up a custom domain if you need it. I think, yeah, secure your site with HTTPS. I think that's, yeah, it's HTTPS by default. So this is one of the simplest ways to deploy your front-end app. So once you have all this deployment set up, any change you make to the repo on your main branch, it's going to automatically redeploy. So we could take a look at um, that and go back to our local React app. And we're going to make a new change here. I'm just going to put some HTML. We'll put another change made to the Netlify app. Let's just say, yeah, deployed up. Um, once you have that, just uh, make a commit. Um, so put my new change to main page and push that. And once it's pushed to the repository, let's take a look at Netlify. And we need to refresh and let's see if it's deploying. Yeah, you can see the production deploys right here. And that's the first one we made. And this is the second one that it's currently deploying the second change we made. We can look at the deployment logs and you can see that it's uh, you know, running any the deployment commands. Let's go back here and we could just wait for the deployment to finish up. So we'll need to refresh the page probably, but uh, yeah, it, it'll take a few seconds. Um, yeah, you can see it deployed in 21 seconds. Uh, if you didn't see the change, you know, just refresh the page. 
but it's it's deployed and we could click on the app our deployed app and you can see we made the the change we made locally is shown on the deployed so now the fly is another great way to you know deploy your websites you know showcase your your apps and you know has a free tier so you could deploy all your personal websites that you have hope you enjoy the video and i hope you're able to deploy your apps to netlify now and thanks for watching and i'll see you next time